up everybody, it's your boy back at it with another video, but today I'm actually going to be doing a movie review because I have just watched Captain Marvel and I kind of wanted to give my two cents on the movie, um, mainly because a lot of people have been giving it bad reviews from what I've heard and um, when I watched it, I had a different take on the movie, so stick around, watch, it all the way, watch this video all the way to the end and um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So uh, if you guys haven't already to, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, uh, turn your post notifications, join my Discord, it is in the comments down below. And if you want to have more discussions and whatnot, uh, the Discord's currently growing a lot, so there's some really cool people you guys can uh, get in touch with and everything. So let's get straight into this. Alright, so um, when I first walked into the theater and whatnot, I started to uh, uh, watch the movie, so man, like, I was expecting it to be, I was expecting the story to be really racy, Kind of all over the place, no real focus and whatnot. But honestly, what kept me like, like, I guess, devoted to finish the movie and um, watch it all the way through, just like, even before the movie even started, was um, maybe the commercials and stuff like that, and all, also the tie-in to Infinity War. Because as we've seen in Infinity War, everything ended on a really shitty note. I mean, Thanos got exactly what he wanted. You had all of the other Avengers and stuff. Half the Avengers were erased completely, and turned into dust and everything. And I'm trying to figure out how everything ties together. So, um, as you guys may, and by the way, there might be some spoilers in this review because that's, I mean, kind of how I, how I uh, uh, review things and stuff like that. So, if you guys aren't with the spoilers, then uh, this might not be the video for you. Uh, minor spoilers are nothing huge, but I will say this before we get like really like, real deep into this, uh, this review. Make sure you guys stick in uh, and we'll end this the end of the movie. And if, you're, if you've watched any Marvel movie ever, um, I would say I would recommend watching the uh, you know movie trailers until the very or the, the movie until the very end and even after the credits and whatnot. Stay for after the credits, but there are two endings. There's one, of course, right after the initial credits and stuff like that, and then after the rest of the credits roll um, through, there are you know uh, there's a secret ending as well. But anyways, uh, it introduces Carol Danvers. Um, she is uh, an American girl from. Um, you know, a small town and stuff like that, and uh, I forgot where it was located specific, specifically, but it opens up with her, and um, I guess her kind of like reflecting back on, uh, you know, how she got to where she is, because I guess uh, she, she and at this point in the beginning of the movie, it already kind of starts her off where um, she's with kind of like her group of people and stuff like that, I'm not entirely sure what they're called. Uh, I, I, I will be honest when I say like I haven't like delved super deep into the comic universe, I've just been following a lot of movies. I have read some of the comics back in the day, but if you guys have more insight on that, keep me informed in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, it showed her with, um, I guess, the rest of her teammates who had similar abilities. Um, and she had this, uh, like she has like, this kind of aura, like I mean, if you guys seen it in the trailer, she has like, this, this kind of like, uh, almost electrical, or, like, uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy fiery aura around her body, almost like an, like an energy that surrounds her. But it opens up with her and her team basically um, fulfilling this mission. They have to go on a planet and basically rescue um, a spy and stuff like that that's been seeking some you know information from a people that they have been terrorizing for a while. But these people are you know um, I guess apparently bad for them, so they have to kind of exterminate them in a way. So. Uh, it opens up with that, the movie kind of plays through and whatnot, and uh, I definitely uh, saw some pretty, pretty interesting things. The dialogue was actually pretty entertaining. I liked it. Like, there were a lot of really high points, uh, a lot of really funny moments. Um, but a lot of what I can hear from people is that uh, this movie was very like feminist-driven and whatever. But dude, Captain Marvel is a chick, so I'm not sure why everybody was hating on the movie. Really good. Like, the, the quality of the graphics. I mean, obviously it's. Marvel, so with Marvel, so it's uh, it's a, it's amazing. Also, you get to find out uh, why she gets her name, or like how she gets her name. I won't spoil that because I thought that was very significant to the story. Um, and uh, I'm, and I'm also sorry as if I'm explaining this and it's all over the place. I'm just giving you my raw, unfiltered opinion of the entire movie. Um, also, while I watched it too, I did notice a few things. Nick Fury's in the movie, and he's a whole lot younger. He actually has hair on his head. Um, he also uh, it also goes into why he named the Avengers the Avengers, of course, in the movie as well. Um, 
kind of goes into how he got his eye patch and everything as well too. There's a lot of really cool stuff in this movie, man. A little like um, some quirks and stuff like that. Um, also, what I, I enjoyed before the movie even started, like the very beginning, um, in the kind of opening credits type of thing, it, uh, it, it, it kind of shouted out with Stan Lee. It said, this is for you. Lot have a lot of you know some scenes and stuff from these older movies. Now there was a scene with Stanley, Stanley in uh, this movie and stuff like that. And I thought it was pretty cool, kind of like some nostalgic moment type stuff, and uh, I definitely enjoyed it. So uh, the shorter summary of this movie is yes, I would recommend you guys go see this. It was very action packed. The story was captivating. Um, there were there were some times in the movie where things were a little slow. The dialogue kind of did slow the movie down a little bit at times, but it, it was honestly for maybe the first. It was probably within the first like 20, 30 minutes um, at first, but after you, you grind through the first 20 30, 20, 30 minutes, which wasn't that bad to be honest, it gets really cool, really action packed, and you get to see a whole lot of uh, really cool stuff. Um, she was, in, uh, you know, uh, Carol Danvers was also an Air Force pilot. I'm not sure if you knew um, as well. She uh, had like a, she got into an accident and stuff like that. It's been, it's been this big thing now. The big tie-in I wanted to kind of touch on was the Tesseract because. The Tesseract is definitely very prominent in this movie, and I think that's going to play a pivotal role in how Thanos gets defeated. Now, for those that have read the comics and stuff already, I'm pretty sure you guys already know how this is going to end. Um, but you know how movie um, companies like to put a spin on things, so it could go left very quick um, or right, we don't know. Um, all I'm saying is, I enjoy the movie, and out of the 10, if I were to give this movie a rating, I would definitely give this movie a. I would give it like a 6.5. Give it a six and a half. It wasn't Mar one of Marvel's best movies, but it was a good movie. It was definitely a good Marvel movie. I think the lowest rated Marvel movie I would ever give is like a, is honestly a five. And it was just my personal opinion. I did not like the first Captain America movie. I thought it was well, it was it wasn't tasteful at all, really, to be honest. It wasn't a bad movie, but it was definitely Marvel's worst movie in my opinion. Um, as far as the movies that have come out in the last like ten years. Um, for Marvel and the Avengers universe, because the, uh, the, wor the, the worst movie of all time in the Marvel universe, we all know, is Daredevil, so uh, we won't get into that, we'll talk about that, but I will say that um, the movie was definitely enjoyable, I know a lot of people are definitely going to enjoy this movie, so if you have any hesitation to watch this movie, I would just go ahead and put that in the back of your mind and watch the movie, because the movie was definitely worth watching, and I feel like it's necessary for you to watch this to kind of get an idea of what's about to happen, because they do... Um, kind of hint at what's going to happen in the future, um, especially I would say stick around if anything, stick around, stick around, stick around for the initial ending um, after the first set of credits. That's the, the more important ending. Now there is a really important aspect of the second ending that you should definitely stay around for um, because it is going to play a crazy role in this next movie. And like I mentioned before, um, when us movies play it so you can see the lady that invents the Tesseract, the lady who created the Tesseract herself. Um, Captain Marvel actually has the core of the Tesseract in her body, so I feel like that is going to be how Thanos gets beat. I'm not sure if it's going to be very direct or anything, but uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of really cool things, and I guess I did say there would be like spoilers and stuff like that, but I'm not going to, uh, I guess I've, I've changed my mind as I'm giving this, um, you know, review and whatnot. I don't want to give away too much. I gave away some stuff, but like I said, it was minor spoilers, you know. Um, I just want you guys to know that the movie was amazing. Um, you know, amazing enough for you guys to go check it out for sure, and I think it is necessary that you watch it so you can see what happens in the next upcoming movie, which should be coming out in April, so we have a nice, uh, this is actually a really cool uh, move on Marvel's part because we don't have to wait another year for another Marvel movie, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's really good for the community. Now, I'm sorry if that was the best review you guys have ever heard, but it's, like I said, a very raw, unfiltered, unedited review. I just wanted to give this to you guys. I'm going to probably do a lot more reviews. I know a lot of you guys are like, dang, like, never again, never again. But guess what? It's my channel. So we're going to be doing a lot more movie reviews, guys, and checking out um, some cool things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And um, until next time I see you guys again, take care. Peace.